of the really eye-opening movies that I saw revolves around a magic rodent that can predict the future. The strangest holiday that I've heard about, Groundhog Day. In this movie, Bill Murray's character is stuck in Groundhog Day and has to relive the day over and over and over again. It's one of those comedies which seem entertaining on the surface, but as you watch it, plenty of lessons jump out. This episode looks at what was my biggest lesson from this movie, being trapped in situations and how to stop the cycle. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24, light on. In this movie, Bill Murray always wakes up the next day in the same bed, reliving the same day. Even if he gets busted robbing the bank or he drives off the cliff, or he electrocutes himself, he wakes up the next day. There seems to be no escape. How many of us have been trapped in situations like this, when no matter what we did, we couldn't pull ourselves out from this endless cycle? Most people drag themselves through the same daily rituals and routines, listening to the same garbage on radio or TV, complaining about the same things, commenting on things that don't matter, going through the same conflicts at home, office, whining, stuck in dead-end jobs or relationships, sometimes bored out of their skulls, so monotonous that they can predict their next day and the next day and the next day, hoping for the best but not doing anything to change it. Know anyone like that? Maybe intimately? In this film, Phil tries to bypass the situation by killing himself, but that doesn't work either. Giving up, of course, doesn't solve the problem. The lesson was clear. I realized that we will permanently remain trapped unless we focus on making those tiny, deliberate tweaks and improvements every single day. Every single day. The Japanese even have a name for it, Kaizen. This was developed during World War II to help businesses improve and thrive. The Japanese took to the idea of small, continual improvements right away and gave the name Kaizen, Japanese for continuous improvement. Now, instead of huge drastic changes each day, just focus on small continuous improvements. The word here to remember is continuous. Just like Phil in the movie, every day aim for one new tweak, just 1% improvement. Even 1% a day compounds into a major change by the end of the year. When you look back, you will suddenly see how far you have come. It pays to take small action, any action, and grow from there. Remember, you are better off trying and crawling than anyone else who isn't trying. Becoming 1% better every day is a simple, practical way to achieve big goals. 1% doesn't seem like a big amount. It is tiny. It is easy, it is doable, and it's applicable in most things you want to do or accomplish. I use this in my trainings. In every training, I do repeat a lot of material, session after session. When I start out, I'm a little unsure. I don't know how the material will be received. It's easy to be scared and not do anything. But as I constantly repeat, what keeps me from getting bored, burnt out, or bitter is a daily 1% tweak. The little adjustments that I can make to my material, the experimenting, the new places and people, and sharing those experiences. Focusing on constant little tweaks over time adds up to a kick-ass training session. In my toolbox today, I have a simple tool. Here it is. Every day in the morning, as you plan for the day, ask yourself, What's the one person tweak that I can apply today that will add up to something amazing in the long term? That's it. And then do it. There's really no substitute for action. It's easy to go down the rabbit hole of self-doubt and fear, wondering whether you will get a standing ovation or rotten tomatoes. Which is why it's important to keep your focus on the daily tweaks. Watching Groundhog Day reminds me that pretty much every day is the same. 
So you know what's going to happen. Get proactive and strategic about it. Like someone said, self-improvement isn't a destination. You're never done. Even if you have some success and you want to maintain it, you have to keep doing the things that you were doing that got you that success. So folks, no more complaining about how your life never seems to change. You know you have the power. Much like He-Man, I have the power. Use the comment box below. Let me hear your views and let me know what changes. Share this video with your friends and commit to daily continuous improvements together. Spread the light, people.